Turning to our next story, according to Labour Minister Susha Tomglin, the Labour protection draft mocked up by the progressive movement is the mirror reflection of the current Labour Protection Act that the draft was not rejected by the Prime Minister. In response to the progressive movement's claim that the Thai Premier turned down its draft labour protection law, Minister Sushad said the Department of Labour Protection and Welfare had gave the draft a thorough review and suggested that it is very much similar to the law that is currently in force, but with a few tweaks, such as the reduction of working days from six to five days and the termination of daily wages. The minister said every ASEAN country has six working days per week, except Singapore, which has five working days and two rest days. The balance between working and off days is based on each country's economic context, and six days fits Thailand the most. Whether or not companies will give one extra rest day on top of the one mandatory rest day to their employees is their own decision. In regard to the idea to make all remunerations mon monthly as opposed to daily, Minister Sushad said such a proposal would not be ideal for small and medium-sized enterprises. In terms of increasing the minimum wage, he said the government supports the idea, but in order to do that, it has to take many factors into consideration, including the competitiveness of the country and the survival of businesses. If businesses seize operation, people will be unemployed.